This is Spotlight Review of Transformer Studio Series number 29, Deluxe Side Swipe. Let's go ahead and put it aside. Let's take a look at the packaging so we can press on. Were you expecting me to do something up close in your face? Nope. Didn't see that coming. Anyway, here's the nice artwork for the packaging of the character, which is the figure you get. Number 29, Studio Series, Autobot logo, Sideswipe, Transformers Dark of the Moon, Ages 8 and Plus, Hasbro's logo, Takara Tomy's logo, Transformers, goes up to the Missile Generations logo at the top right corner. On the side of the packaging, we got an open window container here for the Autobot logo sticking out. Here we got nice artwork of Sideswipe. Here we have the authentic Transformer stamp, which will remind you if it doesn't say authentic, it's a knockoff. To the other side of the packaging, We've got, once again, Sideswipe Studio Series number 29, Deluxe Class, just in case you didn't get it the first time. To the back of the packaging, and here we got the car mode and the robot mode, which it takes 18 steps of transformation and vice versa. Backdrop included with the figure is the Dread Standoff. Oh, you mean the Mexican standoff, which you can kind of see right here, but we'll get to the real deal at the end of the video. Sideswipe backs up Ironhide in a head-to-head -head against the Dreads. Other figures available in this line is World War II Bumblebee, Clunker Bumblebee, and Barricade. And down below all that, we got Warning Choking Hazard and some licensing here and there. General Motors, as you know, is officially licensed product with their permission. Now that's going to do it for the packaging. Let's go ahead and put it away. So I can tease you with Sideswipe for a moment as I go ahead and showcase the instructions that this figure comes with. Yeah, this looks like fun. Sideswipe is in his Dark of the Moon vehicle form, which is a topless Steam Ray convertible, as you can see. I prefer the Revenge of the Fallen mold, but hey, that's just me. It's way too flat, but it does look pretty sleek. You got a driver's seat and a passenger seat here. Maybe you could fit a little Titan Master in there if you had one. I don't. I don't know how much wind protection this actually would account for for anybody in this vehicle, considering that these are pretty tiny windshields. Here's a look at the front of the car. As you can see, the grill's painted black. We got some intakes here that are painted black as well. We've got the logo of the vehicle in the front. It would look like these headlights were actually painted in black, but that's not the case. That's just lighting. On the side of the vehicle, and here we got some panel work through the transformation, but it's pretty clean. To the back of the vehicle mode, and here we got some tail lights that are painted in red. And the exhaust pipes sticking out here are his primary blasters. The wheels are molded in gray plastic, but they're actually painted over on the tires in black. I would have preferred it be the other way around. If they were just molded in black and painted silver, it would make them pop so much more. And you wouldn't run the risk of scraping them while you're running it against the floor. So yeah, the wheels roll pretty good. Doesn't seem to be any hindrance whatsoever. My only real complaint about this vehicle mode, besides the fact that it's the topless convertible design, is just the spoiler on the back is a very thin plastic, so you might want to be very careful when handling this. Anyway, not much else to say about the convertible, so what do you say we go ahead and do some comparisons with Deluxe Dark of the Moon Ratchet and Lockdown. So let's go ahead and transform Sideswipe into his robot mode, which it only takes 19 steps of transformation, as the instructions say, but I find it to be a little bit more than that, and maybe even a bit of a challenge, but we'll give it our best. Start things off, what you want to do is come at these panels here, get your fingernail underneath, and pop them out. These will be his blades. Yes, he's a little bit of a parts former, but what are you going to do? Just go ahead and untab the front panels to the car like so and flip up the hood swing out the lower section of his legs come to the back part of the wheel well and rotate it all the way up like so that should give you enough clearance to bring down the wheel and have this section here meet in the middle as well so repeat the same process on this side swing up the back piece of the wheel well and rotate this down followed by this piece here even though that looks like a tab, it doesn't really fit anywhere. It just sits there. Come to the doors of the convertible and untab them. Do the same on this side here. Swing it back. Swing around the hood of the car, just like that. Come underneath the vehicle and just untab his arms. Swing them down. Come to the back section of the car and untab the taillights, like so. 
fold in this panel right here. Swing this entire panel all the way back till the hinge is completely straight. So that should give you room to work in this area. But what we're gonna do next is we're gonna go ahead and swing up his arms on the hinge. Rotate them down at the ball joint tab right there. It's gonna go into that little slot right there. Locking everything in place. Go ahead and remove his guns. Swing out his hands. Repeat the same process on this side. Come back to the backpack here and we're going to swing it 180. And then on this hinge here, we're going to bring it down as far as it can go. Make sure the spoiler is behind the hinge right here. So we have clearance to swing up the hood of the car and tab it right in, creating the backpack. Swing out his toes on both sides of his feet. Angle his legs back just a little bit on the double hinges. Readjust everything to your liking. And here we have Sideswipe in his deluxe class robot mode. And he looks pretty good. Albeit considered this is probably the best looking figure out of the wave in all honesty. I mean sure you got some kibbly bits here and there. That's not pretty movie accurate to the design in this mode. But being a small figure I think this one nails it pretty good. Taking a look at the head sculpt, that's definitely Sideswipe with the very nice painted blue eyes and the gunmetal gray for his face. There's the Brandon logo right there for his chest. Got some nice engineering here decked out in silver paint. The wheels are on the side of his forearms, which is pretty movie accurate. Got some very thick fingers here, which is really good. Taking a look at the legs, and you do have the option to actually slide up his toes here so you can have him just rolling around on his wheels. But he can't stand up without a little support in the back, so it's a good thing that's there. And taking a look at the backpack, and it's pretty clean. So this is actually really good compared to other Transformer figures. And the wings are on ball joints, so you can angle them out whichever way you want. They also have a hinge, so they can come down even more if you want them to be a little less revealing from the front. I actually prefer to have the wings sticking out like this, just because it gives him a more dynamic look. But whatever, I'll keep it accurate. And the only hollow bits that I can find on the figure is basically right here. Unless you want to count the obvious folding out the hands from here at the forearm. Yeah, leaving a big hollow mess i mean what are you gonna do about it all right let's get to the articulation so sideswipe has a ball jointed head he's got ball jointed shoulders that does allow some inward and outward movement you can't really get a full rotation i mean you can kind of but not completely straight up sideswipe has a swivel cut above the elbow section the elbows are single jointed and they get 90 degrees of bend. There's a hinge joint at the wrist due to transformation. There's a swivel cut at the waist. Legs are on ball joints so you can get this much kicking forward, this much going back. And if you want to, you can pull off a very nice JCVD split. So there's your seal of quality making this triumphant return. But you might want to be careful with how far you split his legs out because, again, they are on ball joints. There's a thigh swivel cut. Figure sports some double jointed knees. Look at that. Look at the pistons work. The toes and heel spurs actually have some up and down movement as well due to transformation. But sadly, there really isn't an ankle rocker pivot. This this doesn't count. This, this doesn't work at all. All right, so what's the next best thing about Transformer figures? Well, the weapons they come with, obviously. So let's take a look at them. Here we got some dual pistols that are double-barreled, as you can see. It's got some nice paintwork here at the top with the silver for the piping. They look to be molded in a very dark brownish color here, but maybe that's just my eyes playing tricks on me. And the weapons can be stored in his hands. And Sideswipe does look pretty good packing some heat here. But there are other options if you don't want the figure holding the weapons. Then the blasters can be stored right here on the sides of his backpack. It's a little finicky at first and it might pop off a few times on occasion. But after a while, it seems to sit in there just fine now. And you know how I like options. Options are good. Of course, the Sideswipe does come with his blades of murder death. You see this tab right here and this slot right here on his hand. We're going to go ahead and tab it in right there. And repeat the same process on this hand right here. Like so. Step aside, Dreads. These blades were made for slashing and that's just what they'll do. Finally, let's go ahead and do some size comparisons with robot mode. So let's dare to compare with Clunker Bumblebee and Decepticon Barricade. Okay, yeah, that's not Clunker Bumblebee, but who cares? It's just a repaint job anyway. Last thing to look at is the backdrop that comes with this Studio Series action figure. 
And here we have a takeoff of the scene with the Mexican standoff with Ironhide and Sideswipe against the Dreads. Taking a look, you can see some vehicles here. They're just parked around the stop sign. Got some smoke debris going on over here. But unfortunately, it looks like we missed the battle. Oh. Here we have number 29, the reassurance that this is Sideswipe's and not anybody else's. And we got Transformer Dark on the Moon. Here we have the Missile Generations logo at the top right corner. At the bottom right corner, we have the Authentic Transformer stamp, which to remind you, if it doesn't say Authentic, it's a knockoff. Finally, let's put the figure on here and see what he looks like. And just like Barricade, he's a pretty good size compared to this backdrop. You can actually see what's going on in the background, so it works. Unfortunately, this is the only real pose that you can get the figure in, and that's just a normal ace stance. Like seriously, Hasbro, if you really want to make these figures display on this so much more, you need to give us more space down here. Final thoughts on Sideswipe. He's a pretty good figure. He's a lot better than Barricade, and that's sad to say, because Barricade really is one of my favorites. Sideswipe is right up there, too, but he's just not Barricade. But in the end, I gotta say that this figure overall impressed me a lot more than Barricade. I don't know, maybe it's just because of the car design. It was so much easier to compact a robot mode inside. And when it comes to quality, I will say that Sideswipe at least isn't made like 75% out of clear plastic. It does have a nice solid paint job here. I love the silver that just makes this figure pop in both vehicle form and robot mode. So you do get your money's worth in this area at least with the paint job. Plus he's got more paint on him than Barricade and that's sad but true. Sure, you got your removable blades. The sad part is there's no weapon storage for those like there is on the back of him with his pistols. It would have been nice if we could have had some place to store these away when not in use. But once again, it's a pretty small action figure in comparison to other deluxe figures out of the studio series. So 20 bucks on this guy. Again, you're going to have to decide it with your wallet. Well, I think it's a really cool purchase. I do also see other people complaining about this one being the price range. It needs to be a $15 action figure. Any figure that's almost near or a little over scout size figures or legends as they're called nowadays really needs to be targeted at a much lower cost. Yeah, you only get one weapon in Barricade, but you get four weapons with Sideswipe. You get his dual pistols and you get his dual blades on his arms, which is pretty cool. I like it. And I like the way that they're engineered into the vehicle form as well, but sometimes they do like to pop off on occasion. But overall, the articulation on him is pretty nice. It's very tight. It doesn't seem to have any loose joints on him, which is all I could really ask for here. Again, I love the paint job. I love the design of this figure. It's pretty accurate to his movie counterpart, though there is some bits here and there that isn't exactly correct, but it's just because of the limitations done by the size of the figure and the fact that this is a $20 price action figure rather than being a masterpiece price. But really, if you see this figure in stores, you might not want to pass up the opportunity to upgrade your Dark of the Moon Sideswipe with a much recognizable design that is pretty dang close to the actual movie counterpart. But hey, if you decide against it, well, more power to you. That's your free will. So questions or comments, you know what to do. Hit it down below in the comment section of the video. If you liked today's video review, hit the thumbs up button. Don't forget to give me a sub up. If you didn't like it, hit the thumbs down. Don't forget to throw in the towel. And until then, my friends, this is the Unprofessional Toy Reviewer Hasbro sign off by saying when the opportunity persists, don't give up on your dreams, siege the moment. Thank you for watching.